Hiya. Hiya. I finally talked to Doug. He's coming to the ceremony. Good. Brown almost found him. Yeah, Doug liked him too, but he found it all a bit awkward. Understandable. A strange man comes to your home to spend his last days. Doesn't get much more intimate. Mm. Pete accepts things, but still avoids talking about it. That's why I can't bring up the inheritance. Sit down, Willem. Secrets and marriages. See you later. Thanks. Sean, uh, isn't Karen is spending an awful lot of time in her gaff? Babysitting and paying them the spare room? No, I, I can paint, OK? And we don't, we don't need babysitters. That's not what Orla says. Hey, come on, yeah. Look, it's one excuse after another. She's practically moved in. Hi. Hi. Glad to see you two are getting on. Yeah, of course. No more stupid rows. <laughs> Karina, where's good to buy baby care? No, I want to hit the shops. It'll be good to get organised. Yeah, I'll ask Nikki. You know, she has an eye for a bargain. No lock-ups. The sprog deserves the best. Is that called a sprog? What's wrong with that? Nothing. Look, come here. There's no rush, but can you get me your recent bank statements? Why? I just want to want to get all the paperwork in order for to open up a joint account, you know, for baby expenses. I want to put an overdraft limit on it. Kids cost thousands a year. <laughs> well, I haven't had bank statements in ages. Really? Well, go on to us. Thanks. Right, what's going on? All the fake smiles, I mean, you can not see them. I really wish I knew what you were talking about. She has gotten statements recently. How would somebody just forget that? Why did you lie about statements? I didn't. It was obvious. What if the paternity test charge shows up? What do you think it's going to say? Cheating cow clinic? It'll be down as a doctor's fee. Dope. Give me a few pointers. I thought the funnel was filling out. True. OK, heads up. He thinks he's a date. OK, so let him down gently if he has a problem. This lunch in Venus. So it's not a date. <laughs> you take this my brother's keeper thing to a whole new level, you know that? You're a funny guy, Jake. Hiya. Oh, hi. Meeting Claire today, are we? High-powered legal shenanigans. Much too complex for our tiny minds. Uh, ignore your buffoon of a fiancé, Renee. Unless you're another conspiracy theorist. And... I'm paying no attention to either of you. No. I'm writing my will. That's why I'm dealing with Claire McSweeney. Is there something we should know? People always assume you're ill. Has the secrecy, or as I like to call it, privacy. Now, I'm not dying or planning to sue. Mystery over. Actually, I don't have an awful lot of personal possessions, but I do have decent life insurance, which might make a difference to some people. Ah. Watch his eyes glitter. Goodbye. Bye-bye. What if he is in? I doubt it, because he's lying. His secret tete-a-tetes with her have nothing to do with the will. Ah. You'd suspect whatever he said. He can't win. Jim, volunteering information to me. No. They're up to something. If you're looking for Karen, I think she's probably in my gaff. Well, she's living with you. Practically, yeah. It's like Orla's found herself a, a lost little puppy. And you want her gone. But it's like she's hiding from your feud. OK, we get the message. Yeah. It's just that uh, I, I think she needs her mother, you know? You're nervous. I wish you hadn't said the whole date thing. Oh, I wasn't being nosy. Hmm. I was just trying to make sure there were no crossed wires. I have done this before. OK. Anyway, getting to know him is what today is all about. Listen, 
things aren't going well, you walk away, okay? Nice knowing you, mystery man. That would be rude. Jake. Hey. Ooh. What a pleasant surprise. Oh. He was keeping me company. Here, I hate messing you around, but there's a chance I could be called away. Work. Oh. We'll skip starters then. No, I don't want to abandon you mid-meal. Let's forget lunch. How about a walk instead? Sure. <laughs> I'll grab us a couple of lattes. Have fun. I don't know what you mean. What are you hiding? These are not mine. They're certainly not carry ons but they were in more things. Boxers. Not new. Are, are you sure they're not yours? I asked you what that row was about, and you lied to me. All the tension is because you know she did something. Her one mistake. More silence. Stop pretending like you're an idiot and stop treating me like one! Armandos. Shut your mouth, you! Making mad accusations. I'm not covering up for that slut anymore. Oh, she is lying. You are a spyful wagon. Your wife slept with Mondo. Here, he probably left those behind, or she kept them as a souvenir. Mondo. And my wife. She doesn't know that for a fact. I do. No, you don't. Look, Charlotte. Charlotte suspected it. And, and that, that's, that's why all the, all the secrecy and the, and the rows, but there's no proof. What do you call this? There has to be some explanation. I mean, this is Kerry Ann. Look, don't do that and you regret Echo, calm down. Are you deliberately trying to destroy him? He'll be better off in the long run and she'll get what she deserves. She is pregnant. She is a tart. <sighs> Who pretends to be this big innocent, but she's done it to other guys too. Well, it's Deco who loses everything. Oh, look, this will go well with your black and white shirt over there. Oh, I feel like I'm robbing the charity <laughs> shop. Well, now you have more. Thank you. You're welcome. I think Sean will like this. Oh, my little cousin, a fashionista. Now, that is a very hard sell, Karen. Oh, he's straight down the line, you know, what you see is what you get with Sean. Yeah. Sean is a really lovely guy. I used to think that sort of man was dull and complicated. I was wrong. Oh, he's not dull. He's dependable. There when you need him. <laughs> Like you were? Uh, well, I did very little now, come on. I was hiding it, but I was close to a meltdown. I know, Karen. I recognise the signs. I've been that girl, you know. More than once. Me and Wayne, we... We went through some... ropey times. <laughs> like most couples, I guess. Hello? Hey, we're Hi. in here. Oh. Hey. Uh, I was talking to... Aoife there earlier. About? I was just saying hello. Then I know you're okay. I get the feeling she hasn't seen much of you lately. I'm not avoiding her. Ah, but well, you should tell her that, you know, so there's no misunderstandings. Oh, you're a family counselor now, are you? <laughs> and Sean, too. He looks down in the dome, so I think he's missing you. <clears throat> well, Karen's cooking dinner later. Tell you what, why don't you invite Sean to join us? Great. Yeah. yeah. Tell me this clear McSweeney charge you a call out fee to visit you in pubs. Actually, Renee thinks that you might be ill. I sincerely hope not. I'd hate to see you fall off the perch before my inheritance is finalized. You know what? I'll leave you to your monologue. Jim. I mean, doctor, could I trouble you for a minute? Of course, William. Come on up to the surgery. Head. The nightmares have stopped mercifully almost, but uh, I'm still waking at 3 30 on the dot with my eyes streaming like I've been crying. Does that mean anything? Oh, there's nothing to be worried about. Uh, we'll sit down and go over things. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. She's just babbling the same old things over and over. Can't you do something else to help her? Confusion and memory loss are temporary side effects. Oh, just let me do my job. Stop judging her. I'm not judging Miriam. How are you? So, I'm free for lunch today if the offer's still open. Take. Don't know 
what I'm supposed to say. They're not mine. But they were found in my bedroom. Mine and Kerry Ann's bedroom. What are you saying? Kerry Ann had an affair. Maybe she's still having one. But who? Don't lie to me. Involve Amanda on your private business. Shut up. Mates are talking here. Look, you need to listen to me before you make an idiot of yourself. Look, you have this all wrong. Charlotte saw Carrie Ann and Mondo hanging out a lot, and, and it's as simple as that. It's all in our heads. If it's not him, then he knows who it is. It's nobody. Yeah. Oh, I want a name. Maybe we should go somewhere else. I want a name. I'm not having a clue. This is Carrie Ann. I'll do whoever this is. Properly. But if I find out that you knew about it, you'll get even worse. She wouldn't. They're being paranoid. He found your boxers. He thinks it's someone else. Only because he doesn't want to believe that his friend would do that to him. It's about the only reason why you still have teeth. I have to tell him the truth. I'll take all the blame. Oh, the hero. Just keep denying it, okay? There's no proof. You've hardly spoken. I feel like I'm not even here. I find it very relaxing around you. I'm chilled. I presumed you were too. No, I, I am. I, I thought you weren't. No, I wouldn't keep you guessing. You'd know. I thought the whole Jake, is it a date or not stuff. I don't know. Mm. Might have made you feel awkward. Yeah. It is a date. Not a bad one, I hope. I'll tell you a bad one. Never, ever go for a picnic up a mountain. I had no escape, unless I wanted to walk 10 miles home. Trapped, listening to him to brag about how good a sommelier he was. Oh, no, wine bores are the absolute worst. 10 miles or 20, I would have been out of there running. <laughs> I believe that. Oh, mental note, never discuss wine with Will. He'd never be a bore. Ugly kept meticulous records. How a drug-addled doctor made the decisions, or failed to make them, leading to a patient's death. I live with it. I didn't need the reminder. Oh, well, he felt you did. I wasn't on meds. So the drug-addled inferences are false. Your word against Oakley's. The fact remains, a woman died in your care, unnecessarily. Stop feeling sorry for yourself, or Miriam. Think of Nula Tuli's family. How you deal with Miriam is not up for discussion. You do as you're told. His exact words. I'm trying to use my best judgment so this whole thing doesn't blow up on all our faces. As you're told, Jim. Listen, you're here about my will. Yeah, I'd like Shane to be the chief beneficiary and uh, trust fund set up for any children he may have. As you wish. Mm. No, 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 do carry on. I'm loving the performance. Once again, I have to apologize for my brother's ignorance. <clears throat> Stop following me. You're my life's mission. Actually, I'm here catering for a marketing presentation upstairs, but this is much more interesting. Tell me, how long does it actually take to bequeath an insurance policy? Hmm? You two are in cahoots, and it's something really dodgy. You've let Bob become a real problem. That's not good for him, or you. Can you drink it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Perhaps the mother of the year, huh? Who did you dump Jack on so you could prop up the bar? Right, he was out of line and so are you. Just leave the kids out, will you? It's just a man who's been bullying my son, huh? Okay, I agree with Robbie. All right, just give us a couple of toasts. Is there ham and cheese? Yeah, sure. I appreciate you looking out for Karen, but it's my job. Well, she knows where to find you, and I'm not keeping her a prisoner. Wayne's made it clear she's in the way. Did he now? You mind your family? I mind mine. Don't forget the grub, right? Yeah, I'll get them. Uh, Americano? Yeah, thanks. Hey. Hey. Hey, uh, two Americanos, please. Mm -hmm. I thought you were busy. <laughs> Cards on the table. We like each other. We do. I'd like to take it further. So would I. Well, I have an early start in the morning, so I'm staying in town again tonight. How about a movie and a meal and back to my hotel? Sounds very nice. Cool. We have a real date tonight. Mm, you made it so difficult. It's one night of fun. Mm. Listen, you really got to know her first. Hmm? Just saying. Just saying. I'll uh, try not to poison everyone, don't worry. Ah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Actually, you know, we didn't have to do any of this. Well, Orla gave me a full wardrobe, so it's just thank you. Right. Hmm. Um, Aoife is worried. Okay, now, I, I didn't want to say anything earlier in case Orla thought I was dropping hints about you being here. So. That sounds like a pretty big hint to me. Come on, Karen. I like I'm being unfair. Why don't you like me? Don't pull that one. No, I'm genuinely curious. Look, I think you're grand. Okay, I'd, I'd have a point with you any day. Tell me to stop calling over and I'll stop calling over. Oh, that's good. Hey, okay. I'm in the kitchen. Hang on. Dinner is in 30 minutes. Chocolates for the chef. Oh, thank you. You shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make yourselves at home there, please. Will do. Yeah. Oh, yeah Smells nice. Oh. I feel like we are being invaded. They, they both have their own empty gaffs. I heard about your little chat with Eva. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and I, I told Karen too, I said, I am getting tired of the house being taken over. That's a slight exaggeration. Oh, come on, you're like bow people or lost sheep. <sighs> Look, I've been through this before with me ma. We had Cleo and Lara and Lucy. It's, it's just one problem after another. Don't worry, love. I'll protect you. Something smells good. Very best. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, come Where's Sash? Cellar. Oh, hang on a second. What's up? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Calm, calm down, calm down. What's up? It's Carrie Ann, right? I think she's cheating. Carrie Ann? Oh, God. The same one thing, Sasha's saying another. I just, I just need the truth, all right? I nearly crashed the van, I'm just taking the bar. Just don't say it, mate, please. I'll just leave it, man. Take care, you're gonna have to say it to carry on. But remember, asking that question is a minefield. You'll never be able to unask it. Me? I wouldn't. Here I am. Sit here. Jim won't answer his phone. It, there's a referral number to another doctor. I don't want someone else. Well, if it's an emergency. I'm in my meds. I need, I, I need a prescription. I had bad nightmares. Hannah was in them. I took my last tablets two hours ago. Oh, they're gone already. You told me to open my dosage. I may have taken a few extra by accident. How many? One or two. Will you be good for tonight? I won't. Oh, come and see me tomorrow. Tomorrow, are you? Try this. She's a user, so is Claire McSweeney. Neither wants to use a street dealer, so they come to you, a local dispenser of prescription opiates. Of course, they pay a premium. 
How am I doing? Either says to ignore you. Miriam will tell you to back off. But, and this is a serious warning. Do not put that theory to Claire. Or there will be consequences. You ought to be ashamed. Hey. Your Texas the phone almost knows what's. How about you, Bill? Someone else? I couldn't tell you over the phone. Deco found my boxers in your bedroom. I found them on the back of the couch. I meant to dump them. Yeah, he doesn't think they're mine, otherwise I wouldn't be standing here, but he is certain that you had an affair. No, no, he would have said something. I don't know what game he's playing, but you're walking right into it. He doesn't play games. We go to him. Together. No, 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 no. This I, is not I, I'll explain that it was, it, it was a once-off, and, and, and I, I'll say that I pressured you into it, and which you kind of did. I, I took clothes to the laundry, and I accidentally packed them. Stop this. There's been enough lies. I love him. I can't do this, so I'm, I never cheated. Five minutes. It is true. I seen how he went there. He knew about this. I never wanted you to find out because it'd do this to you. Or what? You want to hit someone and throw everything away? She did one stupid thing. Why should you lose your family over that? She was so desperate to get pregnant. That's why she cheated. Oh, yeah. The one thing I couldn't give her. That's what it was. You're the father. No. Yeah, he is. She took a paternity test. You're the dad. All she wanted was to be told that it's yours, and it is. It's your baby, Deco. Look, just try and forget what you know, all right? Or, or you'll end your marriage and your family. It's not worth it. I said I'd dry. Sorry, it slipped. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> uh, it's OK. You should have left it alone, Sean. Relax, it's just a fate. It, it shouldn't have happened. Relax, would you? Don't look at me now like I've gone mad. At least three times I said I would dry. Right. Knock yourself out. Oh, no, no, you're sulking. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, don't be. Uh. You found something in my drawer. Shorts. And I can see why that would bug you. Yeah, it does. I have no idea who's there. Uh, they got mixed up with my washing at the laundry and I meant to throw them away. Just stop explaining. No, but I, I don't want you to think I'm bad. Like, I, I knew they were there. Would I say to you to go and search it if I didn't to hide? It's only ever you and me. Okay? You and me. Come to bed. Uh, I, I have a bit of work to do, so. Okay. Well, don't leave me waiting. In a thrilling new series starting tomorrow night at 20 to 11, Apple Tree Yard takes us on an emotional journey. While next, from a terraced house to a city apartment to a mill, it can only be home of the year.